One of the scariest things that I went through in active addiction, I had been dating this guy for a while. Our relationship went from good to really, really bad within like a year or so. Of course, it was an unhealthy relationship. We were both stuck in active addiction. The substance he was using would make him really angry, like scary angry. I'm not excusing his behavior, but using a substance every day like that can really change a person. One night in the middle of the night, his friend needed a ride to work, so I rode with him to pick his friend up. At the time, we were both pretty much just living out of his car. On the way to pick his friend up, we stopped at the gas station. Him and I started arguing, and I don't even remember over what. He was getting out of the car, and he had his keys in his hand. I think it was like this, where the key ring was around his finger. He punched me in the face with the keys in his hands. And you guys, my eye was swollen shut. It was this eye. I still have a scar on my eyebrow from it. And that wasn't even the worst part. He started screaming at me more. He wouldn't let me leave the car. He called his friend. We picked his friend up. I'm crying in the back seat. When he picked his friend up, he looked at his friend and he says, where can we hide her body? You guys, I was scared for my life. Thankfully, his friend talked some sense into him and was like, dude, you can't do that. All my ex was worried about was going back to prison. So in his mind, he thought getting rid of me would fix that and he wouldn't have to ever go. I was screaming and crying in the back seat of this car, telling him I wasn't gonna call the police on him. I'm very, very, very thankful his friend was there because who knows what would have happened if he wasn't. His friend talked him into letting me go, so I took off on foot, called for help. When I saw my face, you guys, my eye was swollen shut. I had the biggest bruise on my eye. I stayed scared and he stayed threatening me. It wasn't one of those relationships I could just walk away from. I ended up getting away from him when I went to jail. And that was the last time I went to jail. And that's when I decided to ask for help and I got my life together and got away from him. If you're someone that is going through this, do not allow anyone to put their hands on you. Nobody, absolutely nobody deserves abuse. Verbal, physical, none of it. There are ways out. Find someone to talk to. Someone will help you get out of those situations. Please, please don't try to do it alone. You are worth it and you are loved. See you guys.